we want you to leave this cruise decided at least that you're going to fall in love with you because until you fall in love with you and friends what's not to love until you fall in love with you you cannot be in the state of allowing you're only eking out a very small percentage of what is potentially there for you so what are the components of being in love with you well it's a gut thing it's a visceral thing it's a how I feel have you ever tried to make a list of your positive aspects is it easy for you or is it easier for you to make a list of everybody else in the world's positive aspects for most of you we have not seen you practicing loving yourself very much and we want you to begin making it an emotional feeling thing rather than so much of a thinking thing but you've got to practice it you've got to fall in love with you so to begin here today we would like to give you a list of all of the reasons that we love you we want you to feel the love that source feels for you and it would take some doing for you to get up to speed with the way we feel about you because we have broader view of you we know the whole of you but it is our desire that you make it your quest that you begin to fall in love with you and we would like you to begin singing your own praises at least to your inner being we want you to know that when you are self-critical you are very far in fact the furthest away from vibrational alignment with source that you can be and you are therefore practicing unworthiness rather than worthiness and therefore in your practice of unworthiness you are not practicing the art of allowing the art of allowing means allowing yourself to be a vibrational match to who you are and if there is anything that we want you to hear it is that you are an extension of source you are an extension of source energy you are an extension of source which adores source in other words source is love do you know that in that which man calls God and in that which we call source or inner being or source energy that there is nothing but love that's all that exists that vibration has no resistance whatsoever in it so when you find self-condemnation you rip yourself apart from source and then you look for the eyes of others to fill that void and you cannot fill that void with anything but source that's the only thing it void is too strong of word it is never a void so here's our list of why and how we love you because you said I will go forth into the new environment and I will find a way to steady myself and I will let this new environment stimulate me to the new idea that you then source can rejoice in we love you for that because you pioneers out here on the leading edge are responsible for taking thought beyond that which it could be otherwise so you 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 the part of us that is you are responsible for keeping the eternalness in eternity that's a big reason don't you think we love you because you are willing to come forth into an environment where there are many unknowns and you are sure enough from your broader non-physical perspective you are stable enough that you are willing to take the plunge into this environment and you are very fast at adapting to it no matter what it is that's a big reason don't you think you are adaptive beings who have a powerful basis you are intellectual geniuses in that you are born with a faceted mind that gives you the capability of acknowledging your surroundings and becoming at one with it now that goes back to the adaptation but we want to take this appreciation of you just a little further by saying to you that your willingness and ability to adapt is the most responsible thing for the expansion of the universe of all your willingness to participate 
Now, so far, what we feel from you is not really a resounding rejoicing in who you are because, after all, everybody that's come forth must surely be all of that. So, am I the individual that is me here in this body? I am not so special then, am I? Because all that have come forth, all that have come forth, have come forth for all of that. That right there, that competitive, I need to stand out above the rest, that right there is what's stuck in your vibrational craw that keeps you from being the worthy being that you are. That need to separate yourself in a comparative way. What we wish for you as individuals in this room and certainly what we wish for you as mass consciousness on this planet is that you begin to look out at those among you and feel your appreciation for them too. And in your love of not some of them, but all of them, you will return to your love of self. So it turns out you cannot be one who condemns the other without shooting yourself in the foot relative to your own sense of worthiness. In other words, we really are all one. But you were born as individual consciousness, as an individual sensory, as individual gut responders to vibrational relativity. And if you will make a decision that first and foremost, I want to love me, and next and equally important, I want to love you, whoever you are, and then you just make it your new mantra. I am love in a physical body who cannot feel worthy unless I am in the state of loving something, someone. Who cannot be in the state of allowing unless I am loving someone. We think that this new way of looking at it, as you begin to wrap it around the day-to-day -day experiences that you begin living, will bring you very fast into vibrational alignment with the art of allowing. And then those who watch you will be reflecting back to you evidence that you may lose sight of. Because when you get tuned in, tapped in, turned on, when you become a vibrational match to the energy that is you, the good stuff just keeps feeling like the next logical step, the next logical step, the next logical step. You find yourself saying again and again, but of course, things always work out for me. Things always do work out for me. I am blessed. I am guided. I am blessed. I am guided. I am the epitome of well-being. Things always work out for me. And then begin noticing how many things who look like they're going wrong turn out to really be going right. It felt like it was going wrong, but really it was going right because things always work out for me. And when you begin to get into that attitude where no matter what happens, you say, there's something in here about this that someone's orchestrating on my behalf because things always work out for me. Things always work out for me. Things never go wrong for me. Even when they look like they're sort of kind of going wrong, they're really not going wrong. They're really going right. And later on, I'll be able to see it more clearly. And as you begin to beat that drum and allow the things in your life to really go right for you, what you will begin to notice is that you will find an avalanche of people making their way into your life experience. And don't worry, it'll only be those who are ready to know what you are already knowing who will begin to reflect back to you in amazement the extraordinary life that you are living. And you may find yourself surprised when you say, Oh, I'd sort of forgotten. I thought everyone was sort of living this sort of life. We want you to be the ambassadors that you were born to be, the ambassadors of well-being, the ambassadors of worthiness, the ambassadors that move through time and space amongst those who maybe don't remember yet. And that the thing that you are expressing with the greatest amount of fervor and the greatest amount of supportive evidence to back it up that says things always are in the process of working out for me because I was born to live a good life. It is my inheritance. It is my destiny. And it is that which is happening around me all day, every day. 
We are eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you. We want to help you see that your destiny is one of well-being. And we'll do our part as best we can to help you find vibrational alignment with the things that will cause you to allow more evidence of it as quickly as possible. You are ready. Start right here on the aisle. Come forward if you will. And then there, stand if you think it's you. Yes.